uh, in our demonstrator uh, we show how radio and light technologies can be combined, how they work together. And we also show that we can use relatively simple technology to implement this light-based communications. We have commercial light luminaries to show uh, that, that this could be used to provide connectivity. VLC exploits the lighting infrastructure that we have in our ceiling just to provide illumination to our rooms also to transmit information wirelessly. Typically, this is done in the downlink, so from the network to the mobile device. Uh, in the other direction, from a mobile device to the network, typically we use infrared light, which is invisible to human eye. Well, light has a lot of advantages. For instance, we have a huge amount of spectrum, which is uh, unlicensed, it, it is free to use. We have available for, for light. Also, we can um, have uh, support very high data rate, even hundreds of gigabits per second. Light-based communications is very secure because the light signal remains confined in the room where we are. No one outside of the room can listen to our uh, communication, so it's very secure and private. Also, we think that uh, light and radio are complementary. They, they, in practice, they have to be, if I have a mobile device in the future like this, and I could be connected by exploiting light, but what happens if I put my mobile device in my pocket, so light cannot reach my device, but then I switch automatically to radio. If I take it from here, uh, um, I can use light, but it, since the orientation changed with time, sometimes it will be better to use radio, sometimes it will be better to use light. We can see in our demonstrator what happened, for instance, if we interrupt the beam of light, then the system will automatically switch to radio. Um, we can see that the video is smoothly going from A to B and the user doesn't know whether he or she is connected to light or to radio. For instance, uh, if you, as a user, are moving into a sensitive environment, like it could be a hospital, an uh, airplane, or for instance a manufacturing plant, where there are many other devices and you could create interference, for instance, the system could automatically switch you into the light mode. So this is a safe mode. So where can we use uh, light-based communications like VLC, Li-Fi, um, things like that? So first we have the, our everyday scenarios, home, office, public places. Uh, these are typical places where we could use uh, that technology. Then, um, as mentioned, uh, highly sensitive scenarios. Light-based communications can also be used in some other very sp specific uh, scenarios like uh, vehicular uh, communications, mining, underwater communications, also, we have some cases like Internet of Things that could also exploit light. In the future, we expect that our devices, like our mobile devices, will uh, have both radio and light-based connectivity. Um, in this way, we think we are also empowering the user. He or she will have the possibility to decide whether to use radio or whether to use light.